So here we go. The final training diary from Cape Town 2018. Yeah, this is the last windsurfing.tv uh, episode I'm going to bring you because I'm flying home tomorrow. And I tell you what, the weather is looking freezing <laughs> absolutely freezing <laughs> oh my god i don't think what i've got on today is gonna cut it um so yeah it looks pretty nasty back in the, the northern europe right now uh so we're going to be going back there uh, since the last training diary what have we had we've had a mixture of conditions we've had some decent waves uh we've had a few people ripping more about those guys in a minute but we've also had a few light wind days we've had a bit of surfing but we've been doing a fair bit of biking yes if you did didn't know Cape Town was famous for biking. Where have you been? Because they have the Cape Epic, which is one of the biggest mountain bike races in the world. And there is some hell trails up in Stellenbosch. We've been sampling them uh, with the old Canyon bike. Yes, the Canyon Strive. We've got to get the sponsors in because they're supporting windsurfing.tv. Uh, so we've got to give them a big up. If you've got a Canyon bike or bought one in the last year, let me know. We can probably like tell them that you've bought it because we, you know, have been out you never know we want another year out of them boys uh they've got some amazing bikes so yeah we've been sampling the trails up in Stellenbosch but obviously I'm not going to talk too much about that but definitely if you're coming to Cape Town into your biking put your bike in well worth it 100 percent okay so uh where are we at with Cape Town uh well like I said we've had a mixture of conditions but we've had some it's March is always like that it's actually one of my favorite months it's not so consistent you know you get wind every day but when you get it, you usually get some good swell. And we've had some peachy little swell coming through. So we're going to talk a bit about that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you when I'm back in uh, the snow. I reckon that's how we're going to finish this episode. So three, two, one. And here we are back in England and it's just starting to rain. I think I can see my breath. So we've got to get through this before it just pisses down. Okay, so let's go. Cape Town, big waves. Like I said, uh, there's one spot that has emerged in the table view area as the big spot. It's like the who keeper of Cape Town, but we can't mention the name. It's called <coughs> And uh, a lot of people go there. It is one of the busiest places because it picks up the best conditions, but super busy. And that's what happens when you have a good spot, you get a lot of people. So what happens when it's super busy? Yeah, you've got to share. You've got to share. That's the Cape Town way. Cape Town is all about sharing. If you can't share waves, do not go to Cape Town. You will get very frustrated. So I spotted a few people sharing. Some people are good at it. Yeah, they're good at it. They kind of like fit in sync when that guy bottom turns, the other guy bottom turns. I kind of like that. But then there's other people who kind of get very attached to a certain wave and do not want to let it go. Even when the section's gone quite a long way away, they charge down the line because that is their wave. Eric Decker. <laughs> and look what happens in the end, though. Maybe karma. Who knows? I don't even know whose wave it was. I heard uh, Mr. Decker tell me it was definitely his wave. Um, who knows? But classic. Check out that for an absolute face plant. Like I said, maybe it's karma. I did see that fella take a fair few waves. Uh, we had a chat about it. And yeah, we agreed to disagree, I think, in the end, but uh, quite funny, man. So, yeah, uh, Hagger, oh, <coughs> a place in, in Table View has been going off. There's just been some really good days, big days. Seen a lot of people out there. Flo Young, I think, was out there. There's been uh, oh, a whole host of crew. Obviously, the local crew have been getting their fair share in, and they know when that place is on. I think uh, some people are talking about fitting a tracker to certain people's cars so they know when these places are on because they seem to sneak the sessions. Uh, but, yeah, loads of stuff going down. Uh, for me, there was a couple of standout riders. One guy that stood out was a guy on a Fanatic North Sail. And I was kind of thinking, who is this dude? He's got this lay down bottom turn. He's cracking the lip. He was going for some big airs. I think I even saw him go for a backy off the lip. Yeah, I mean, he is just not scared to have a pop at it. And he's got like this last turn. And you're probably thinking, who is this bloke? Well, funnily enough, I know him pretty well, but I didn't recognize him on the water. This guy is the main man behind Black Roll. Yeah, and if you don't know what Black Roll is, where have you been? If you're from Germany, you would definitely have heard of it. Basically a foam roller. 
Uh, he's took it to a new level and he is killing it. But like I said, uh, it's always good to, you know, give a big up to these guys who have got businesses within windsurfing because, uh, like I said, he is still one of the keenest windsurfers I know. When I was there, he was first on the water. I think he even wobbled out when there was just nothing happening. Uh, but yeah, really keen and got some, like I say, he's got some sick turns on him. I was uh, super impressed. So Marius from Black Roll, we got to give him a shout out. We might have to give him his own feature at this rate. Uh, um, but yeah, so uh, Marish was killing. Like I said, there was a whole host of other people there. Jamie Hancock from the UK. He's been spending a lot of time behind the camera. Um, but he was stepping it up. I seen him get one wave, nice turn, and then into a you know front side 360. You know, this is uh, you know a guy who's probably spending more time, like I say, behind the lens. So really good to see him back on the wall. He had a couple of like massive aerials. Oh. <laughs> You can't do it, it's Jamie. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I mean, it wasn't easy to get out. You've got to say on these days at this beach, it's not easy to get out. There's some uh, there's some hard sections. Every time you're going out, you're getting pushed back. Uh, and so it isn't easy. But uh, like I say, when you get those waves, there's some nice runners. Uh, we've got to also mention one of my housemates for the trip, uh, Andreas Alanderson. Anyone who's been going to Cape Town over the last, what, 15 years will know Andreas. Uh, he had a spot in Big Bay called Andy's Corner. Uh, although Big Bay is just a bit shocking at the moment, the, the, the whole beach has gone. Anyone who knows the Cape Town, they will know it's kind of only working at a certain tide. Uh, but Al Anderson was uh, cracking up uh, the moves when I was there, going super late. Uh, he had a little bit of a high line air. I thought he would gone, but he manages to somehow save it. Uh, and then I see him get one sick turn on this big nugget and comes up for the air. And I'm like, oh, oh. And I thought he'd made it, but he just went straight down the mine shaft. Oh, shit! Oh, dude! Yeah, straight down the mine shaft there. Oh, I mean, he had a fairly big old swim. Uh, and when he finally recovered from that, I think he walked up the beach and he looked like, whew, okay, <laughs> I'm done. Also, there was a few randoms getting a bit loose in <coughs> uh, there were some just big late hit and massive areas from, you know, randomly unknown people. People out there going, yeah, I know him, I know him, but you know, it's very hard when you're just filming on the beach. But I've got to put a few of these little shots in which I got with people just getting sending it, you know, going super late and taking some big takedowns. Uh, like I said, you know me, I love takedowns. Everyone at home is uh, loving the takedowns as well. Yeah, so I mean, like, there's a really good atmosphere to be honest. Like I say, this is this is late uh, season Cape Town. There's certainly the hardcore left, so I always love it because everyone there is is really getting into it. Uh, we had a couple of the freestars there for Britzi, for Spritzi or whatever you want to call him from Italy. Uh, he's got a bit of a change of sponsors this year. He's more known for his freestyle. He's handy at that, but he was mixing up in the waves, and I shared a few sessions with 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 him. Uh, basically, in table view, and we even made a little trip to. Uh, uh, well, actually, Cape Point on a northwest day. Uh, not many people there, but it was fun. We actually only filmed when the conditions got worse, and that is usually the way, isn't it? When it's good, everyone's out, and as soon as it goes a bit crappy, the tide came up, we came in, and I did a bit of filming, and Max did a bit of filming. So we got a bit of stuff from that day, but that was a super fun day. Nice to do, you know, a little bit of mixing it up on the other tack before going to Maui. Yes, yes, I know, we have to say it, going to Maui in, uh, well, tomorrow, actually. I'm going to be editing this on the plane. That's why I'm doing it right now. Uh, the forecast over in Maui looks terrible, though. So don't, you know, don't start uh, giving me grief just yet because there is no wind. Looks a little bit warmer than here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, also Sims, Adam Sims, got to mention Adam Sims coming back from spinal surgery. I mean, a nasty, he had a nasty year last year, had all sorts of complications with that. So he's been, you know, fighting to get back to fitness, but he looks like he's in fine form at the moment. He's obviously bought a house in Cape Town for everyone who knows him. Uh, so he's been spending a bit of time there, but he's on form right now. Yeah, and he actually sent me a little clip from uh, a secret spot. Everyone holds their breath. No, he's going to mention the secret spot. Don't worry, this spot is four hours away on the East Coast. I've actually been there before. Uh, it's called Whitsands. And everyone's thinking right now, Whitsands? We've been to Whitsands. Not that Whitsands, the other Whitsands. It's quite a popular spot for kiters and sharks. Yes, sharks. <laughs> the sharks seem to like this place. And they spotted like sharks over there at the river park. You know, like, you know, full sharks, hammerheads, great whites. <laughs> <laughs> All in this river. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like river mouth. Uh, like I said, I've been there a long time ago and uh, it's a sick spot for flat water freestyle. Just check uh, Simsy. He was there, like I say, the other day with one of the, the Dutch kiters and these boys were going off. He said, I think, quote, this is the best freestyle spot I have ever been to. Yes. That's what he says. So uh, he said there's a bigger video. I think it's a bigger video coming from this and basically his year coming back from spinal surgery. It's a pretty uh, hectic stuff. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting one to watch. But looking at that footage there, it looks like they scored it. I think he said he was a little bit underpowered uh, on the 4-4. Four, four. Should have gone for his 4-8. Uh, obviously on the Hamburg sail loft. We've got to give respect for them. Supporting Windsurfing TV this year. We love you boys. Uh, you drink a beer for me. Uh, so yeah, those boys, uh, Simsy went over to Whitsands and that is definitely a spot to look out for in those dodgy patterns when Cape Town's not working. But it's, it's not really a day trip kind of place. Four hours, four hours back. That's a, that's a pretty hefty old journey right there. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this uh, whole episodes of the Cape Town Training Diaries. Like I say, obviously I'm back in England now uh, and it is time to move on because the rain is starting to come down. Uh, thanks a lot to everyone who supported uh, the Training Diaries with the beer money. We've actually got a new feature coming up uh, and it's going to be uh, sponsored by the Mailing Room. Yeah, the Mailing Room actually sponsored the BWA, British Wave Sailing Association and they're getting involved with windsurfing.tv and what it's going to be is going to be for you guys at home to send in your crap your kooks of the day, your wipeouts, uh, and we're going to show them in the diaries. Maybe have a special feature. It's going to be prizes. You might even be able to win a trip to spend a week on a clinic with me and maybe Colin Dixon. Who knows? It's all up in the air right now, but the mailing room are on. So don't go too far away. Thanks for tuning in. It's time to right now. It's horrible. <laughs> See you in Maui, people. No no. no, 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 Don't forget, if you didn't watch any of the other episodes, you can click over here to watch those guys. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel down here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's going to get better and better. Uh, give us a thumbs up like as well. Don't forget that. And any beer money, well, whatever. I can't even put the link on anymore. Boom. It's below. It's below. It's below.